Hello and good morning. So, uh, welcome back to, uh, I think it's like part 85 or so. Something like that. So, uh, here's what's new since last time. Uh, Voltaire died. That was kind of a fluke. Uh, so basically I was going through, um, Pirate's Graveyard a second time. And, well, apparently at some point I was looking away or doing something else because it was like a whole weekend of, well, the baby having teeth coming in and... Basically, the wife and I juggling different stuff. Some they're like going through uh, PG while uh, while we're watching TV and whatnot, and just like trading who has the baby back and forth. And apparently, at some point, I missed when Voltaire got kicked into a hole. So, well, he's dead now. Um, uh, he's gonna go ahead and get eaten by denim. So that's nifty. I just transfer all of this goodness over. Uh, mostly just the two-hander stuff. Nom nom nom. <clears throat> so rip that guy and uh yeah uh denim here is kind of set up with his uh runescape look more or less that was entirely intentional because i wanted to have him set up with this thing at some point for no apparent reason this is actually pretty close to the setup i typically used whenever I, there was a rare time that i actually tried pvp stuff in rs but, oh well, eh, you know, it's one of those weird parallels where something actually looks similar to that. To come to think of it, probably put some nomads on him. Hmm, yeah, to lower his attack a little bit, but... Ah, he has a guaranteed crit anyway, doesn't matter. So, there's that. Uh, so Voltaire's gone. That's a bummer, but it is what it is. I might go back to the uh, discount Voltaire Depot uh, back in Chapter 1 and pick up another one at some point. But for now, it's fine. Denim got his skills, so no big worries. Um, and yeah, now we uh, move on to Coda proper. So, go to talk. And there's two different things here. So, and Bronze of Ruins. So that's where we're going that. Basically going to invade heaven, more or less. It's actually funny that it's referred to as going down, but it's basically an island floating in the sky. Yeah, let's see. Like fog covers its waters, so we just accidentally discover this gigantic tower over here. I know, there is also a giant floating island, you know, stuff. Everyday normal stuff in Valeria. Alright, King of Brigantes, I forget what this is about. I think this is the part where it's like trying to tell you like hey apocrypha is a thing so yeah you're apparently supposed to go to POTD come back and then you know go clear out the fortresses and then go talk to uh, talk to old man guy and then he, you find out his freaking daughters are super wizards even though you have no sword masters or whatever else but whatever uh, such things happen See anything new on people? I don't think so. Oh, Roderick. <laughs> Wait, he died from what? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Even though you'd think he would have been able to use something. And yeah, here's Serene, so. He's dead now. What else is new? Oh yeah, so uh, so when I went back to Bart's Graveyard, I picked up those three books. Uh, got the um, the one... It, there's one for robes. I already had the one for... Um, did I already have the one for robes? I don't know. There's one for robes. Well, I don't know why I'm jumping back and forth between menus here, but yeah. Uh, da, da, let's just go down the list here. So, Hammer and Shridian, so Stygian Pick and Gehenna. Uh, those are pretty darn decent. Uh, picked up a Stygian pick. Well, I got one of each. Okay, speaking of, I meant to put the Gehenna onto um, Daza. Uh, going down here. Got the body armor enchilada. So, fancy robes. I went ahead and made a few of those for those who needed them. Same as they always would be around. And then got went back and got the leg guard and Sheridian, which I didn't have for some reason. I thought I did. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a piece of crap, but, you know, that might change down the line. I understand he's planning to add more stuff. 
I was actually mentioning specifically, like, it's weird that the Leg Guard in Sheridan basically has shoes. It doesn't have any actual Leg Guards. Uh, the Helm in Sheridan doesn't have any helmets, it has a crown, and... I think it was, a, was it Armor Craft? Yeah, well, I mean, Ar Armor Craft has other stuff at least, but it seems weird that, like, here, it's friggin' armor, and then pants. You have pants down here. So there's that. You know, the, uh, I can't actually go and get shield craft to see what's in that one. Actually, you know what, I can just Google what's in shield craft real quick. Uh, I was looking into what each of these do the other day, and that's when I found out that I was completely m misreading the situation with that leg guard book. Yeah, Damask plus one and Dragon Scale, that's all you really get out of that. So... That stuff should already be available. Yeah, I mean, I have like ten Dragon Scales and Damask plus one, which would be the, uh... Crucible Guard in this case. Uh, yeah, I already have plenty of those. So, yeah. No need for it. Uh... What else? I don't think there was anything else new, so might as well start going to San Bronza. Oh, right, Daza. Err, uh, yeah, you can't use your, your Odiferous yet. I wanted to put the Odiferous Waster on her. I that she's mostly invincible, but we'll do that later. You're a fire hammer guy, and you can use the Sanshin in one more level. So. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty significant jump. <laughs> Some of these, I swear. Like, you get all the way to friggin' endgame, and they're like, no, you still can't have the proof. Some of the weapons have proof, but, like, Sanshin, no, it's not allowed, just ward. It's just a stun ward. Sun bronze finally. Oh crap! I need that drop thing. Hold on. And bronze drop table. I meant to have this up before even starting this, but oh well. I yo yo yo. I just don't want to go through it a billion times. Bronzo, So is there anything on floor one? Um, let's see, a Bolin and Sanguine Rude. Okay, any notes on that? Okay, uh, let's see, Witch on 25, Lamia Elevation, Elevation 9. Why isn't it a guaranteed level, though? Odd. <laughs> Right, let's just get everybody that can fly in on this. Oh, I forgot. I actually um, got Yuria leveled up. And also got her a uh, bit of a, um, what am I thinking here, uh, apprentice. So she got a singing, a singing pumpkin head to help her out. Oh, there's that. Actually, we don't really need the pumpkin head for this one. <laughs> I don't think who'd bring here. Mm, that sounds decent enough, I suppose. Well, let's not even bring Canopus, just in case levels and stuff. Oh crap, I forgot to put Field Alchemy on Denim. Oh well. Alright. Don't worry anyway. Right, first things first, interrupt. Put these guys off of AI. They still had a few people on AI, I was kind of mass AI training for a while there. Second thing, elevation nine. 
Well, she's a witch. I don't know what the deal is with uh, the level. Maybe that's her minimum level? Huh, either way. It's the target there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, magic leaves on you. I forgot to pick up more items. If such things happen. Uh, by the way, if I'm talking a little bit weird today, I probably should have mentioned this earlier. But uh, yeah, just getting over this uh, thing that uh, one of the cousin's kids gave me last week. There's this thing called a uh, hand, foot, and mouth. It just sucks to have, let's put it that way. Like, you get all kinds of friggin' sores on your hand, feet, and mouth, and ugh, oh, it's horrible. But, uh, yeah, still recovering from that one. So maybe may still be talking a little funny, but we can finally talk again. Uh, it's more of one of those annoying things than it's, you know, like, horrible, but... Still, no. unpleasant. That's the best way to put it. Pecker. Oh, almost. And say so start pecking away at him. Just occurred to me that that actually kind of sounds a little wrong. Oh well. That happens quite a bit. Actually, gonna have to put a little bit of a cut right here, so I'll be right back. Hello, okay, back. Uh, let's see what was going on here. Uh, right, I was gonna have her go up, probably hit the neb, or not. Basically, I just want her to do some of her dances, and it seems like everyone can just resist her, so that's a bummer. Thunder Flare does. Usually I just have her go up and smack somebody with a guitar, do some dances, get some points out. Uh, the dancers are actually pretty darn handy, I've found. So I was testing around uh, with that a little bit, and um, in short, I mean, they're there as a general buff class, and mo while most of their buffs didn't seem terribly useful, I haven't had a chance to combine them with healers yet. Uh, it seems like with Healcraft, uh, that would be amazing. But, uh, Healcraft is one of the ones they can do, but... Um, the uh, Swordsman Dances, as well as the... Uh, uh, I'd say the Swordsman Dances uh, combined with their ability to uh, just kind of subtly increase everyone's RT. Or decrease it, rather. I guess, actually, it's more of an increase than... It, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, they speed everybody up by like 1 to 5 points, and if you have two of them, running around 80 is pretty significant. Uh, even if there's just one of them, it's pretty well noticeable. So I think they're really good. Uh, it'll be cool to see what he does with, uh, with the dances. Like maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, it feels like the heal craft thing could also like give resilient or something, like make your healer just able to survive longer. I don't know. That's that's kind of the worst idea I ever could have come up with, but you get the idea. That wasn't it. Mm -hmm. 
That wasn't it. Alright, I'll just light one of the ranged units. Uh, there we go. Actually, no, he doesn't have any reroll tiles either. Mm. Uh, so, if you're wondering, uh, she drops in and Sanguine Brood, apparently. Uh, which is the thing that we need to turn a skeleton into an angel. Um, don't have any skeletons, so I should have done that before coming here, but... You know, uh, it's not like I tend to plan these things out very well. Actually, what I might do is, uh... I really want to leave and get a skeleton and come back. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. It's an idea, but no guarantees there. I think I'm actually just gonna go through this one time and then do all that whole turning people into other stuff thing later. Make a separate part on that. I think if there's an opportunity to recruit one here, I probably will, and then just do it that way. Then turn the characters I wanted to turn into angels, and maybe just do that some other way. Or another time. I don't know. I mean, generally this run was just... supposed to be about showing off the different features, so... Never really seen the whole, like, transmogrification or whatever you want to call it situation showing off very much, so... Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen it happen, so there's that. I just know roughly how it's supposed to work. Cause yeah, you take your uh, take your unit, turn them into a zombie, bring, give them a book of the dead, carry them over to the I think it was like twenty-first floor of POTD. All right, let's see if that's the one. Let me save just in case I miss that. And then, yeah, you bring him, you get an Insanguine Rude, you bring him to an altar in, I think, fourth floor of this friggin' contraption. And then that's where you get him. Mm -hmm. All seems a bit ridiculous, but whatever works, I suppose. <coughs> Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen either, so... I guess smack down this one? It's funny. Tammuz's attack only went up by, like, six points, and for some reason he just does a disgusting amount of damage now. No friggin' clue. Oh, and, uh, her? Well, I mean... He's basically a friggin' wrecking ball like usual. Funny, I always have this kind of happy feeling uh, at the end of one of these games where I can get everybody, uh, like, armors and weapons and stuff that more or less match their portrait. On her case, she finally got those uh, wind robes, presumably has some armor underneath. Oof, vaporized by a guitar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Another thing, I completely forgot to even mention the fact that, uh, yeah, her, uh, uses her alternate sprite. Uh, because she has the purple one in base game. This one just looks so much better. Right, you get dead, please. Thank you. <coughs> This thing's gonna be a little bit frustrating to get, isn't it? Darn it, guaranteed drops. When are you coming? Mm 
Oh, uh, another thing I was kind of testing recently. I was curious if um, if it was possible to stack curse effects. Because for some reason I had a feeling like I saw the uh, AI do that at some point. But no, it doesn't look like it can. It would be cool if you could though. It would give that a lot more utility because you're basically paying a lot of points in order to do damage that can't be readily healed. Feels like it would be, I don't know. Bit more useful. <laughs> right, so exactly that spot, and what do we get? And sanguine rude. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go back and get me a skeleton. So, uh, that'll be that for this part.